Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about the copy constructor in C++. So when you do new and delete um, here for a copy constructor, specifically the new part, if you're trying to make a copy of your object and you dynamically allocate memory for uh, your constructor, you're, if you're going to make a copy, you need to make a special uh, function called the copy constructor inside your class to properly make the copy over. Otherwise, you'll be pointing to the same thing. So let's take a look at an example. So we're going to use our same animal class as before. Um, let's do our include aisle stream. And then our string class. So again, we're going to have our animal, right? And then we have public, our constructor. And then we're going to have some new functions. You're going to have set name, string name. And we're going to say name is name, private. We're going to create our name here. Okay, and then we are going to also have a get name. Just going to return the name. So we're going to use these to see what's happening. And then we want to have uh, another class called zoo, which will use animal, as we'll see in a bit. So inside our zoo class, we're going to have um, our constructor. And we're going to pass in the number of animals here. So we're going to have M, N animals, so number of animals. And then we're going to also have M animals be new animals and pass in the number of animals. And then we can add those in the constructor. So we have int M, N animals. And the other ones can be a pointer of animals. So animals star m animals. Oops, m animals. Okay, so this should be singular animal. So that's our constructor, and then we're we're gonna test out in our main function. Okay, so we have int main. Return zero. Okay, so we're gonna create an instance of our zoo called the woods. And we're gonna pass in five or five animals. And I'm gonna say the woods dot get uh, get animals. And we're gonna get the first one and say dot set name. And we will pass in Momo. Okay, so that's going to be our first animal. Does not like get animals for some reason. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so we just need to add one more function here animal star and say get animals. And it's going to return animals. So that's our get function. Yeah, so now we have get animals, get the first one, and then set the first one to Momo. And we're going to see um, what that does. So let's see. What we're going to do is print that out. So we say std see out the woods dot get animals and the first element dot get name. Okay, so all this will do is just print out our animals. So we see Momo. And then we're going to show you what happens if you try copying uh, your object without the copy constructor. So we're going to say the new woods equals the woods. And then we're going to set a new animal here. So we're going to copy and paste. And here we're going to have a new animal called Moji. Uh, 
And then we're going to print out um, the new woods. Okay, so what this is doing is we're going to get the first animal in the woods set it to Momo, right? And then we make a copy into the new woods. And then we're going to print out the new woods of the first animal. So if the copy was correct, we would expect this line to be Momo. But what we're going to see is that it's going to actually print out Moji because this new woods is actually pointing to the woods because it's copied incorrectly. Zoo does not have name type zoo. Let's see. Let's run this again. Okay. So notice it says Momo emoji. So that's what we expected the problem to be, right? So now we're going to actually implement the copy constructor. So inside the zoo class, we're going to have zoo and then pass in const zoo and then ampersand because we're going to pass in a copy or pass by reference. And inside, we're going to say mn animals is going to be zoo.copy.mn animals. So that will be the same as the copy. And then for animals, you don't want to do zoo.copy.m animals. You actually want to make new in here. So that way, it's actually creating a new memory instead of pointing to the old one. So you say mn animals here. And we're going to have a for loop int i equals 0, i is less than m and animals, and then i plus plus. And inside, we're going to make the copy happen. So m animals i, I'm going to set that equal to zoo copy dot m animals, and then also the ith element. So now, let me clear. If, now, if I run this again, what do you think we will expect to see? So if it got copied correctly, then the new words should actually be Momo, right? So if I run this, I don't know why it's doing that, but let's try running this again. Okay. So now you can see that Momo shows up twice, right? Initially, we have Momo Moji, and now it's Momo Momo. So everything is working properly. So that's how you would implement a copy constructor in C++. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.